Greetings and welcome everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew! Uh, so, when last we left off, um... Well, actually, I've already done this before. Um, unfortunately, something went terribly wrong with our recording. Um... And the game didn't have any audio, so... I'm not sure how much of this you're going to see. Um, probably gonna see a couple of choice clips. Yep. Hmm. hmm. Let's go ahead and add that water. Alright, now we got that rolling. And hopefully we're recording again this time with audio. If not, I'm going to be very upset. But, um, yeah. So, for right now, um, the main things we have to do right now is we have to get this water sample over to, uh, Mr. Acres. Um, but the other main thing we need to do is we need to go bird hunting. And, uh, I think I'm gonna play a little clip for you right now of how well that went last time. Where'd he get? What? What? There's a mischance? What? What? Why? How? I, I, mm. Is there a... Is it, mm, okay? Okay. Is there a, a mm, am I doing it too fast? Is, am I doing it too fast? Oh. Oh, and then the USB device just disconnected from my computer. That's going to be good. Oh, this is good. This is, um, I, we're off to a good start here. Oh, oh, Miss Nancy. Yeah, so, uh, not happy camper there. But... I have a better idea of what's going on. Hopefully we can do this a little bit better, but American we're going to have to play the little bird call here. Northern and, uh... Um, there seems to be no way around doing this. It seems to be something I have to do to advance the plot, which is a bit infuriating. But, uh, I guess we're also going to see now if... Western Tanager. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yep, alright, so... Fortunately, I only have to listen to the bird calls once, because once I do, I then know uh, what all the birdies' sounds are, and it will actually tell me in-game. But, um, there's no, nothing that way that I can, oh, there's nothing that way that I can remember. But if we go this way, there should be a birdie. There's a log, yep, we want to go to the yellow bird. Let's... This is where I'm going to find out something impressive, something important. Bird picture, get! Awesome. Okay. Got the first bird. Now I'm going to cut to the next bird. Tweet! Retweet tweet indeed. No birds here. Found a shoe though. That's, a, that's interesting. Um, I, ha I have to wonder if the, what the shoe means. If it's just another landmark, or cause it, it, it looks like a relatively new sneaker. Um, it makes me think very Hound of the Baskervilles. Like that's the shoe that they had to use to send the dogs to go after the person. But then that wouldn't make any sense because I'm living there and I'm not her. Alright, I think this, I think the blue jay was one of the ones I missed before. Pick your get. Pick your get. Okay, no, that wasn't one of the ones. Very careful. Robin is get! Awesome. Then... We go down this way. And this is almost, I think, the flew away on me. Very careful. Nice and easy. Mm, it. Motherfucker, it's scripted! 
Okay, so there are certain birds I'm gonna just have to come back for, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll go fail at getting the cardinal. You guys fly away? Yes. Yep. Yeah, he flew away. Alright, so that's all those. Although I haven't been able to find the, um... I have not been able to find my, uh, the hawk yet. Which is... It's funny, because the hawks are the coolest. I like hawks. I think everyone likes hawks. American falcons are still awesome. I actually think I remember hearing that there was another bird that they found that beat the peregrine falcon's record, because the per peregrine falcon supposedly is the fastest bird alive, flight-wise, uh, flight although I don't think the ostrich has much on it either, um, as far as how fast it flies. Um, actually, it doesn't fly fast, it dives. But, um... So, yeah. What am I going here for? I can't do anything with them yet. Alright, let's... We got some pictures of birds. So let's go get in our... We'll give, let's go to the Moonlight Ranger Park here and hand over our... Water, te water kit, that's what it is. And we will check in with the Park Ranger and get the okay onto that. Here you go, Mr. Yeah. Ranger, sir. I have that water sample. What do I do with it? Just give it to me, and I'll take care of it. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Awesome. Okay. We got that taken care of. Start up our boat. And let's go... Ah, <sighs> what should I do? Um... I don't think there's anything we can do at M's Emporium yet. I think we just have to go get those damn birds. There really isn't anything else I know to do. Although I suppose we can go talk to um, our hint system. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and start calling people. Since I don't know if the birds have respawned yet. So first thing things we want to do is we're going to call a uh, hint system. One, five... Hello? Best is okay. Nancy. I know that. What's going on? Okay. Moon Lake is gorgeous, but it's so remote. The park ranger is the closest thing they have to a sheriff around here. Park ranger? What's he like? Which, as we all know, is Bess's way of saying, park ranger? Is he cute? Not true, George. Nancy thinks everybody's cute, so what will be the point? Anyway, Nancy, you were saying? See, that line makes me think that uh, Nancy might be ace. Which would be cool. But then again, it may just be arbitrary. It could be Pan. I just think people are just generally cute. I don't know. It, it's it's just a happy little thing that I noticed. Um, I said this last time by accident, so let's go ahead and say he's a jerk. Well, he seems like an okay guy. But frankly, nobody around here seems to like him very much. Why is that? He takes his job very seriously, which tends to rub some people the wrong way. Did you tell him about the ghost dogs? He thinks they're just plain old dogs that for some reason like to run around at night scaring people. And which then should be his job to dogs. take care of. I think Sally had good reason to be scared of them. I don't blame her for leaving. Which leads me to think that maybe that was the whole idea. Somebody had those dogs if he thinks that they're just regular dogs, it should be his job to take care of them since he's the park ranger. If the wildlife is endangering humans, he needs to take care of it. Ooh, Nancy. Speaking of cute guys, Frank and Joe Hardy called. Oh, yeah. I filled them in on where you are and what you're doing, and they're dying to hear from you. The Hardy Boys exist. Great, did they leave a number? Uh, let's show this one, actually. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what are they up to? Compared to you, nothing. As I was telling them about this latest case of yours, I could hear them turning green with envy right through the receiver. Their number is 280-555-4865. Which I have to dial. recognize it when they called and almost didn't answer the phone. Good thing my cousin here has a memory like an elephant, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Call them, Nancy. They're dying to hear from you. But remember, Frank's cute and all that, but George and I want to hear from you, too. Yeah, no fair discussing the case with them from now on and not with us. Promise you'll keep us up to speed? <laughs> I promise. Except that when I did try to call you guys back last time, 
You just said go talk to the Hardy Boys! Which means that there are two separate hint systems in this game that I'm going to have to call each one. It's just going to be a crapshoot which one's going to be up to, it, which one's going to be able to help me and whether I'm not going to be able to and whether I'm going to be able to talk. I'm going to shut up and let the game speak for a minute. This bird watcher I met has got me taking pictures of birds for some survey he's doing. He's a bit of a grump. Does he live nearby? Yes. No, he just kind of hangs out in the woods. In fact, I only see him at night. Interesting. He's in the woods at night. The dogs are in the woods at night. Could he have had a reason for wanting Sally out of the Malone house? Yes. As far as I know, he and Sally were on good terms. But I also know that Red doesn't seem to have much use for any life form that doesn't molt. He sounds like my uncle Zack. He's into birds. Only he doesn't watch them. He hunts them, then shoots them. I never really liked my uncle Zack. <laughs> <laughs> the delivery of that line is so good. I love it. <laughs> you never get anything like that from Frogwares. Did I mention that all the water in Sally's house comes from a well? And I just can't Ew, stop really? shitting on Frogwares. It like rotten eggs. Not all well water tastes like rotten eggs, Beth. I don't know if it does or not, because the well is so old, I need to get the water tested before I drink it. Good plan. Nothing will wreck your day faster than a nice tall glass of contaminated water. Okay. If your water tastes like rotten eggs, don't drink it! If it smells like rotten eggs, you may be safe to drink it. But if it tastes like rotten eggs, stop drinking it! That's not... Uh, ugh, it tastes bad! Why would you drink it? I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Why don't you see what's up with those rotten floorboards in the living room? What? You guys didn't give me this hint the last time I asked. Bye, you guys. See ya. Bye. Okay, I did not get that hint last time I called and asked. Oh, they did talk to the Hardy Boys first. Okay. So, rotten floorboards are apparently something that I can interact with. Oh, wait a minute! Maybe I can use the actual, like, board that I got from outside? Maybe I can use that to walk- Oh! Wait a minute, an idea comes to me! We may have progress! Except I forgot to start the timer again. Damn it! There. Alright, we now have a timer going. Thank god. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm so excited we have progress. We may have something that I can actually do in this episode aside from hunt birds. Uh, oh, and we gotta go talk to the Hardy Boys too, because I know you guys... So desperate to hear them! Five, five, five... Four... Eight... Six five. By the way, every time I've ever dialed the five 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 number in my life, it's always been somebody's office, never their personal phone. Hello. Hey, Joe. It's Nancy. Nancy, how's it going? Uh, no, wait. Don't answer that. Talk about the weather or something. The weather? Yeah, that'll give me time to grab the other phone and take it outside. Frank's washing the car. He'll kill me if he misses anything. Uh, here, wait a sec. Take a break. It's Nancy. Hang on. He's putting the hose down. He's drying his hands. Thank you for the play-by-play. -play. Nancy, hi. What's up? Bess and George say you've got another mystery on your hands. Or should we say, on your paws. They told you about the dogs? The dogs. We made them tell us everything. Pumped them dry. Mm. As you may have guessed, we're not exactly rolling in detective work here. So you're living vicariously through me. It's not the first time, sad to say. What conclusions have you reached so far, detective? <laughs> okay, so that's actually kind of a funny line, because um, as one of our commenters pointed out on the videos... Um, the Hardy Boys actually started up where the first is detective group, and then Nancy was made as the girl's equivalent to that. Only Nancy became way more popular than the Hardy Boys ever did. So, she kind of drove them out, so that's I think that's what that's actually a reference to. Um, nothing here. The ghost dogs don't seem very well trained. Um, how do we know they're well... They've seriously, all they've done is come up to our house and bark and then gone. I've never, I've only seen them once. If nothing else, those ghost dogs are very well trained. I'm watching to see who owns and or trains dogs around here. Good plan. But don't forget, a really smart perpetrator is going to make it look like he or she has no connection to dogs whatsoever. But then a really, really smart perp might have dogs all over the place and not bother to hide it. Because he or she would figure you'd never suspect anyone so obvious. So everybody's a suspect. I'm gonna go with the bot dot dot him. I'm gonna learn how to talk too, by the way. Someday. That bird watcher doesn't have a dog. And when I met him for the first time, he seemed awfully eager to make sure I knew the story about Malone and his dog. Sounds like a suspect to me. Bess said something about a good-looking park ranger? 
Not in this timeline, I didn't. Holy shit, the Hardy Boys can see through the veil. Park Ranger Jeff Akers, what do you think? Does a uniform make a person more suspicious or less suspicious? I'm sure my brother here would say a uniform automatically makes somebody more suspicious. Because most people assume that a uniform makes the wearer less suspicious. Right, Joe? Right. Of course, then again, your really, really smart perp is going to Joe... Shut up! We get the picture. Okay. Running through this again. I'm convinced someone's using the dog ghost dogs to scare people off. I'm convinced that someone is. And we got to go through all the dialogue options because sometimes this isn't just a hint system. Sometimes this is actually to progress the plot. Never hurts to look for motive. Uh, I have to move through every single dialogue option, whether I know it or not, because the game won't recognize what it is. I think I talked about this before, but. Malone and his four dogs are supposedly buried in a little cemetery near the house. They've all got headstones inscribed with when they were born and when they died. That's interesting. Did Malone have family? Not that I'm aware of. Then who had the tombstones inscribed? See, that's a really good point that I didn't even think about the first time through. Good job pointing that out, game. An interesting hint. That's exactly what I was wondering. Sounds like this latest puzzle of yours is still missing a few pieces. I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? We can probably come up with a few, but we're not going to make it easy for you. After all, it's your case, not ours. Have you tried fixing the floor in the living room yet? See, this... You guys did not tell me to do that yet. You guys kept telling me to go get the birds. But, yeah, I can totally go do that. Later, guys. We'll be waiting. Maybe... Oh, wait a minute. Um, it's probably because I did the phone first and then went to go get the birds. This time around, I did it the other way. More space-time continuum shenanigans, but... Ah! Okay. So... But, no, go back. There we go. Turn. Alrighty. Now then. Aha! Those floorboards need to be replaced. And I happen to have a board. This doesn't look very safe. It's still not fixed. Okay, clearly I haven't done everything I need to do there. Okay, so half my job so far has been solving mysteries and the other half has been home DIY. I have exactly one board, but apparently that, that one board is not enough. We're... Maybe the storage shed. Maybe the shed I can now access... No, not there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Bess. Bess Marvin. Bess Marvin may be able to help me. Because she, wears a, she hires a store. So maybe I can go to M's Emporium. I don't know why I said Bess Marvin. Because I clearly meant um, M's. Because she's supposed to be with the handiwork. So I should probably go see if I can talk to her about this. M's Emporium. Hello! Do you have wood? Howdy, Nancy. Hey, 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 hey! Don't think I didn't see that little teleport trick there. Or that copy of Yo! you have hiding behind the table there. I uh, don't see that. Any word from Tucker What's-His-Name? He hasn't been by to move that tree yet. I'll give him another call. But like I said, the man marches to the beat of another drummer. A very slow drummer. I'm guessing you can't help me find wood. Guess I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay. Is there any wood in here that I may have missed? Plenty of walls made out of wood. But no actual wood that I appear to be able to buy. Alright. What other things do I have in my inventory here? I have gloves, flashlight, which I would not be able to use yet, pen, and screwdriver, but no screws, anything else. Let's put it back to here. I guess I'll give the hint system one more buzz, uh, see if maybe they, because I, I have attempted to Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, good. Uh, well, I do have a few pictures of birds. Maybe he will 
take them? You find all the birds? I found some of the birds. Ah! Aha! Yes, good. Good, 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 good. I'm sorry, but finding those birds is harder than I thought. Can you give me any tips? I found some birds, but no matter how quiet I am, I've been scaring other birds away before I can take their picture. What am I doing wrong? You're wearing those clothes. That's what you're doing wrong. Uh... You need to blend in, like me. Go back over to M's tacky tourist trap and get yourself some camouflage gear. Only sensible thing that money grubber carries. I was about to, I, I was totally thinking that he was about to tell me to go hunting the birds in the nude. Okay. I'm sorry, but finding those birds is harder than I thought it would be. Can you give me any tips? You gotta look for them. Jesus. This isn't gonna be any Sunday picnic, you know? And try early in the morning. That's when most of them are singing. You know, it's kind of impressive how this guy gets creepier every time I talk to him. See you in a while. Just remember, eyes open, mouth shut. Creepy, 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 creepy. That creepy creeper creep. Okay. 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 And okay. Let's go ahead and give give the peanut gallery a buzz. I'm going to have these numbers memorized by the time I'm done with this game. Hello, Bess. It's Nancy. Hint. What's going on? I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. I'm fresh out. How about you, George? Ditto. Maybe we should let the brothers Hardy pull hint duty on this one. Bye, you guys. Good luck, Nancy. And stay in touch. Okay, so they say no. Let's see if Hardy's can do anything to help me. Hello? Hi, Frank. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Joe. Pick up the phone. Joe's in the kitchen. Worked up a real appetite watching me vacuum out the car. Hello? Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. What are you eating? Sandwich. Either roast beef or really old turkey. Can't tell. Don't care. Oh, good. So how's life as a dog catcher? I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? I do not have one single solitary idea. I hate to say it, but neither do I. Later, guys. Watch out for dogs. Just watch out, period. Watch out for snakes! Okay, so nothing to... Oh wait, we haven't tried t calling um, Sally. Maybe Sally can tell us where to find more wood to help. We haven't tried calling Sally yet, I just realized. Hello? Hey Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Talk to you later. Keep me posted. And that's why. Okay, so, um... He has no ideas aside from the I oh, oh, maybe we could check our PDA. Let's see what's in there. Fix hole in the floor. Look for boards around house, forest, everywhere? The forest? Um, okay. Get camouflage bird here. Most likely to see bird early in morning. Okay. Well, I guess we can't do anything really until the morning, so let's just hop over to the AM. I wonder how many days I've been doing this investigation. I have completely lost track because I think in the recording that tanked, I ended up spending like two or three days just wandering around trying to see what was going on, trying to progress events and see what happened in like the day and night cycle. And in case you were wondering, the only real difference I found between the day and night cycles is that the only person you can talk to is an exceptionally creepy bird dude. So, let's go talk to a comparatively less creepy lady. Howdy, Nancy. Howdy. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. Um, that's just it. I'm running kind of... Oh! Oh, dear. Ah... It seems that I am going to have some kind of more mini game. Right now, cash is kind of a problem for me. Do you think we could do some kind of trade out? You scratch my back, I scratch yours, huh? Seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? A better microphone and audio setup. 
To make a long story short, I need some camouflage gear. Got some right over here. One size fits all. But I'm running kind of low on bait. So if you go out and get me, oh, say a dozen little critters, I'll give you the camos. All right. A dozen little critters? Worms, spiders, beetles, grubs. Anything that wriggles on its belly will do. Just look under stuff. Rocks, logs, dead leaves. Should be able to find 12 in no time. Uh, hunting for critters isn't illegal, is it? Hunting for critters isn't illegal, is it? Things ain't quite that bad around here. At least not yet. Now, if Jeff Aker's daddy was still around, you might get arrested for cruelty to animals or some such nonsense. His dad? Joe Akers used to be the deputy sheriff. Real critter lover, that one was. Bug lover? Joe Akers is Jeff's father? That's right. Wait a minute. What? Joe Akers is Jeff's... Wait, who's Joe Akers? Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. And so we leave even less than empty-handed because now we have to do a collection minigame in order to do a collection minigame. And we have absolutely nothing to show for it. Oh, I got a critter box. Which is completely critterless. Okay, and I think I have to do my critter hunting at night. Possible areas to look for bait. Um, under stones, near cemetery entrance, near cellar doors, next to the house, and under logs and rocks at night. Okay. Oh! Um... That's interesting. Okay, that's a thing I didn't know I was going to be able to press. Alright, so, um, I guess we have more objectives? I guess that's better than nothing. I'm sure I'm moving right along here. Oh, I've got to turn around and move right along. And... Door. It's oddly quiet, isn't it? Oh wait, maybe I should go see the, um... Maybe I should go see Jeff Akers, Joe Akers' father. Why is that a revelation? Who, do I even know one or the other? I mean, I know the, I know the... I know, uh, senior, uh, junior here, but who is senior? I say that because I can't remember which is Joe, which is Jeff. <laughs> they both start with J. If they were different letters, that'd make it a bit easier to remember. I know who you're- Ooh, doggy! It's a doggy! And looking significantly more like a dog than the last things we saw that were dogs in this game. Good job. Accuse! I noticed you have a dog. I noticed you have a dog. <laughs> That's Yogi. Yogi? Who never goes out unless he's on a leash. Park rules. Let me guess, you also have a cat named Boo Boo. If it ain't one stereotype, it's another. Uh, oh, oh, there's quite a number of things to talk about here. Um, have you gotten the results of the water sample back yet? Um, do you have any other dogs? He seems very well trained. Ah, so I can either start accusing him or start asking questions. I'm still going to go with Red as being the guy. So let's just go ahead and ask, do you have any other dogs? Do you have any other dogs? I hope you're not suggesting I trained Yogi to run around in the middle of the night barking and attacking houses. See, I want to call that answer suspicious, but in this game, all dialogue options lead to Rome, so... Have you gotten the results back from that water sample I left with you? I meant to call the Department of Health today for a status report, but frankly, I've been way too busy. Doing what? All I've ever seen you do is stand behind this same damn counter all day. Actually, I've never even seen your legs. You could be a dog centaur down there, for all I know. That's a weird thought. Sounds like Moon Lake could use two rangers. If I were in charge of just ten more acres of parkland, they'd give me an assistant, and I could devote more time to the acquisition of more land and eventually put Moon Lake on the map as one of the biggest, most popular parks in the state. <laughs> This is kind of tragic, because I think, as I mentioned before, um, Moon Lake is now no longer a park. It was actually closed down and turned into a forest, so there's no park at all. This is kind of tragic. And hilarious.
Why didn't the Parks Department buy the Malone property instead of Sally? She outbid them, the cheapskates. Well, if those dogs scare Sally away for good, other people are bound to think twice about buying the place. The bank will lower its price, and you'll have your land. You're insinuating things again, Miss Drew. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's actually totally right. He said he just needs like 10 more acres of the land. So he just needs the, needs property. I'm sorry, I really am. I didn't mean to insult you. In fact, is there anything I can do to help you out? Ah, uh, I don't want to do more shit for people. I didn't mean to insult you. In fact, is there anything I can do to help you out? Tell you what, if you're serious about making amends, there's some boxes by the computer labeled with dates. They're from the estate of a local history buff. She kept everything from newspaper clippings to old photos to recipes for apple crisp. She put everything uh... in envelopes and numbered them by year using Roman numerals. Oh. Just put the envelopes in order by year with the earliest date in front. Oh, and if what? you're rusty on Roman Why? numerals, there's an entry on them in the computer. Oh, so that's what the... That, that's what the Roman numerals were, were for. It wasn't for the names of the dogs at the thing. It was for the... um. It was for this. Fun. Okay, if I read what's in the envelopes? Don't go reading anything until you're through. Or take my word for it. You'll never get finished. I've been trying to take pictures of birds <sighs> with this guy named Red Knot. Ever met him? Oh yes, the bird man. I'd stay away from him if I were you. Bird man! Why? Is something wrong with him? Everything! He's got it in his head that Moon Lake would be the best bird-watching venue in the world except for one thing. Too many people. Believe me, if there was a way to get this park shut down and all the homes on the lake torn down, he'd do it in an instant. Oh my god, he wins. He totally wins. <laughs> he does win in the end. He gets his way. He gets turned into a forest. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Oh wow, that's weird. That's really weird, the fact that in real life, um, he wins and this guy loses. That's actually really kind of weird. Okay. Huh. Weird. That is weird. I I'm sorry, I can't- I shouldn't get so hung up on- oh wait, I need to go- Okay, where are those? Where are the boxes? Where'd you say those boxes were? Boxes, 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 boxes. Where are the boxes? Are they here? Yeah, here it is. Let's see. Jeff said the envelope with the earliest date goes down in the front of each box. Now, while I could go into long detail trying to explain how this puzzle works, the fact is that it is extremely easy. It's just arranging the dates in order that happen to be written in Roman numerals for some reason. And I could remind you all of stuff you already know, like V is 5, I is 1, uh, C is 100, M is 1000, stuff like that. Or I can tell you all that I gave this puzzle exactly 5 minutes of my life that I am never going to get back before I threw up my hands in despair and consulted a walkthrough. I mean, why do people even make puzzles like this? This isn't fun. This is homework. This is literally homework, because the entire point of this puzzle is to get you familiar with Roman numerals for another puzzle that occurs later in the game. This is literally just set up for another shitty puzzle. And why the hell would you write out dates as Roman numerals? It's the stupidest idea I've ever seen. I mean, look at it, 1990 is three letters! There's no zero! That's why they're dead! That's why the Romans are dead! They didn't have pants and they didn't have zeros! This game is not very long either, but a lot of its puzzles, instead of being challenges, are just like this. Tedious. Oh, and by the way, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's another puzzle that's even worse. We have to do it multiple times. Yeah, fuck this. 